How's it going? I'm Sean and this is Devlog9 for Reaper of the Undead. In this update I've been mainly working on AI and pathfinding. I'm using the A-star pathfinding algorithm that uses waypoints to determine the best route to get to the player. It's not very efficient at the moment but with a few optimizations it should run pretty smoothly on a phone. I've already made a few optimizations like reducing the amount of waypoints needed to find the path to the player and reducing the amount of times it does the calculation, but there's still more I can do to make it run better. There are two main issues with it at the moment, both of which are due to enemy grouping. With just one or two enemies it works fine, but when you have a dozen enemies all wanting to get to the same waypoint it causes problems. The first problem is when an enemy gets pushed by other enemies. Sometimes an enemy will get pushed sideways into a wall, but will keep moving towards the waypoint. You'll see them running into the wall and bugging out. This is easily fixed by checking visibility, but the other problem isn't so easy. The second problem is also due to enemy grouping. When there's a group of enemies all going to the same waypoint, some will reach the waypoint and try to get to the next one, but everyone else will still try to get to the first waypoint, so they end up pushing against each other and nobody gets anywhere. This one is a lot more problematic than the first issue. I have a few ideas on how to solve this, but there's one way I know that would definitely solve the issue, and that's using a different pathfinding algorithm. If I use the nav mesh, that will solve the issue completely. Only problem is, it's a lot more complicated. Moving on to other things, something else I've added is another player upgrade. I don't know how I didn't think of this sooner, but I've added a move speed upgrade. Someone mentioned adding sprint in a previous devlog, and I was thinking of ways to make it work on mobile. I was testing the game in higher stages, and the problem I was having is I couldn't get anywhere because the enemies were too fast. Then it occurred to me that I could just add a move speed upgrade. I did it and it solved everything, the game felt so much better after adding it. After adding the new upgrade I noticed that the buttons on the menu were a bit small on the phone, so I made the buttons a bit bigger and I've added a scroll view. It's a small addition but I thought it was worth mentioning. Alright that'll do it for this devlog, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.